give me a nice canter around. A lot of chestnuts. As I said yesterday, we've had a predominance of chestnuts. We've had lots and lots of chestnuts. Some years it's lots of greys, some years it's lots of dark horses, but this seems to be the year of the chestnut. A lovely big white face, isn't it? And William, of course, another one of those very tall riders. A lot of him above the horse. So his balance has to be really good. A very nice controlled canter coming in. And here's somebody who can really use the ring. I think those horses know that William really means business. And, you know, there is one place to go, and that's straightforward. And that was nicely done. So this could be fun. And that is quite a little bit quick, perhaps, but certainly adequate. And then nice transition back again. The horse's ears going back and forth, really listening. Nice outline. Getting good marks. He's getting eights. Look at the rhythm. And a perfectly round circle. The horse really bent the hind legs on the circle, setting up for the half pass, just flowing across the ground. Some really nice marks going up. As I say, you know, people are always saying, you know, there's the second day marks. Well, you've always got the best horses on the second day. You usually keep your best horse for last. You know, there's some nice ground covering strides, a little bit different in his action from some of the other. But look at the transition back again, and you have to appreciate that. And that gets a mark. But there is absolutely no doubt in this horse's mind that William says, go. And, you know, it's going to go for him. Nice show going again. And it just looks easy. If it's correct, it should look easy. It should look like the horse is doing it by himself. He shouldn't see, be distracted by what the rider's doing at all. Very precise and nicely into the walk, very forward. It wasn't trot, stop, walk. It was trot, walk, forward. And stretching out. Really covering ground. And he's allowing him a nice reach with the head and neck. He's overstepping. It has to be a good extended walk. Let's hope he can get this rain back organized. Very difficult move. Come to a halt. And you should actually lean slightly forward and push the horse out behind you. That's what done and then count. Yep, see the jump from the hind leg. That was probably as nicely as we've seen it done. Give a good mark on that. And then covering ground. Looks like he should be able to go cross country, huh? And then back, and the change. There it is. Ooh, that was nice. That swish of the tail, but very clean change forward very nicely and it should stay in the same canter creep back because he's doing counter canter it shows the suppleness of the horse it's a very good exercise for the back just watch the hind watch the inside hind leg it jumps right up under William's stirrup practically and that shows the engagement Ideally, we'd like to see a nice inverted V behind, between, from the hocks down in the canter. Mm. That's very much true with this horse. And there's a flying change on the centaur. How about that? Whoever asked the question. I don't want to jinx him, but then I'm going to say so far, so good, right? Look at the attack on this, I and mean, he's just riding him forward, forward. And the change, yeah, that was a little bit before the center line, but it was a true change. I don't think you're that picky 
um, as a judge, I think if the change is like that, you can easily give a nine. Easily. Even a ten. It's giving a very good match, I think. You might go into the lead. How about that? I don't think you can fault that. Things are hotting up, are they not? And that is the last one, and we've still got some good ones to come, so don't go away. We have 20 minutes now. Sorry, half an hour. Yep, we actually have 40 minutes, but I think William has just gone into the lead with a very good mark. And I think he's going to be in the 30s. He's got to be in the 30s, if my math is right. And just wonderful. There we go. That's the one to beat. That is the one to beat. We will see you.